Osteogenesis Imperfecta by Taylor Fisher and Hannah Stenbach. Osteogenesis Imperfecta, otherwise known as brittle bone disease, is a genetic disorder that is characterized by fragile bones that break easily. It affects the skeletal system and is classified into eight main types. 90% of osteogenesis imperfecta cases are caused by a genetic mutation in the genes that create collagen. Collagens are a family of proteins that strengthen and support many tissues in the body, but not these tissues. The tissues collagens affect include cartilage, bone, tendon, skin, and the white part of the eye. They begin as pro-collagen molecules, which are made up of three chains. There are two pro-A1I chains and one pro-A2I chain. These process molecules will then arrange themselves into a fibril formation. Collagen molecules make cross-links within fibrils, resulting in very strong collagen. COL1A1 and COL1A2 genes give instructions for making type 1 collagen, which is the most abundant form of collagen in the body. Certain mutations to these genes can result in osteogenesis imperfecta. Reduced production rates of pro-A1I and pro-A2I chains is the main reason for fragile bones in OI, which is short for osteogenesis imperfecta. Because cells can only make half the normal amount of type 1 collagen, Deleted segments of DNA can cause severe forms of OI and result in non-functional pro-A1I and pro-A2I chains. Substitutions take place when the amino acid sequence is altered, usually placing glycine with a different amino acid. This changes the ends of these chains, resulting in the improper assembly of collagen molecules, creating abnormal type 1 collagen. These abnormal collagen molecules can cause serious problems throughout the body. RTAP gene makes a protein called cartilage-associated protein, which is important for bone development. This protein is critical for the normal folding and assembly of collagen. It also may, may be important for releasing collagen molecules into the spaces around cells. CRTAP mutations cause type 7 of OI. These mutations prevent cells from producing cartilage-associated protein leading to improperly formed tissues and bones that exhibit the severe symptoms of OI. Another mutation reduces the amount of cartilage-associated protein produced, disrupting the normal fo formation of collagen, which causes less severe problems in comparison. Symptoms Type 1 OI is the mildest form. This type causes many minor trauma-related fractures during childhood and less fractures during adulthood. Symptoms include loose joints and muscle weakness, a sclera that has a blue, purple, or gray tint, a triangular face, scoliosis, minimal bone deformity, brittle teeth, and hearing loss. Type 2 OI is the most severe form. Many either are stillborn or die shortly after birth. Severe deformities such as bent, crumpled, and fractured bones occur even before birth. It affects the chest by making it very narrow, with fractured and underdeveloped ribs and lungs. These complications cause severe breathing issues, usually resulting in death. Other symptoms include short, bowed arms and legs, outward turning hips, soft skulls, a tilted sclera, and short stature. Type 3 OI is also fairly severe. Infants have very soft and fragile bones that often fracture before birth. Sometimes severe rib fractures cause deadly breathing problems in infants. Symptoms usually get worse as time passes and affects the person's ability to walk. These symptoms include short stature, tinted sclera, loose joints, and weak muscles in arms and legs, a triangular face, scoliosis, brittle teeth, and hearing loss. Type 4 OI is the most variable form and symptoms can be anywhere from very mild to very severe. 25% of infants are born with bone fractures, but many others might not get any fractures till later on in life. Leg bones can be bowed at birth, but this often decreases throughout life. Progressive hearing loss, a blue or gray tint to the sclera, teeth problems, scoliosis, a triangular face, a deformed rib cage, and loose joints can all be symptoms. They are also often shorter than average. Diagnosis for Osteogenesis Imperfecta OI is usually suspected in children whose bones break with very little force. A doctor may notice physical signs of OI at a normal doctor's appointment, such as a blue sclera, and may suggest DNA testing. 
To get a definite diagnosis of OI, a skin punch biopsy test, or a different DNA test, is often used. These tests detect almost 90% of all type 1 collagen mutations, but a negative result does not completely rule out OI. Other DNA tests are then used to check for recessive forms. Type 2 OI can be identified through the physical deformity seen on an ultrasound as early as 16 weeks. A chorionic villus sampling can also diagnose OI before birth and is often used if there is any family history. Treatment for Osteogenius Imperfecta There is no cure for OI, but there are certain treatments that can reduce the symptoms. Supportive therapy can help decrease the fractures and disabilities, help with independent living, maintain overall health, and is unique to each individual. Physical and occupational therapies help improve the ability to move, prevents fractures, and increases muscle strength. Fractures are not treated differently from that of a person without OI. Bisphosphonates is a new medicine that is often used to help with bone formation and decreases the need for surgery. Low impact exercises can help keep muscles strong and maintain strong bone. Surgery to place metal rods into the legs may be used to strengthen the bone and reduce the risk of fracture. Bracing can also be very helpful. Reconstructive surgery can correct any deformities. Deformities like bowed legs or a spinal problem can greatly affect a person's mobility. Social workers or psychologists can help people adapt to a life with OI and can help with any body image issues that they might have. Osteogenesis imperfecta is genetic, so the only risk factor is family history. There is no racial or gender differences in the rate of the disease. Statistics of OI in the U.S. Type 1, 1 per 30,000 live births. Type 2, 1 per 60,000 live births. Type 3, 1 per 70,000 live births. And types 4 through 7 are very rare. When you wish upon a star, make no difference who you are. Desires will come